Hello YouTube. In this video I want to show you the fastest and easiest way to upload a bootloader onto the Atmega 328P-AU with is which is the SMD version. So I made this Optiloader bootloader and all you do is place the 328 in here. Slightly put pressure with your thumb on it and press reset. Done. That's all there is to it. Unfortunately, I have only one left at the moment, but uh, you just take it out, put the new one in. Obviously, you can upload bootloader more than once. And that's all there is to it. Uh, if that noise is annoying, there is a solder bridge that you can take off or just put a piece of tape onto the buzzer and then it will not annoy you anymore. And um, this is it. It runs off 5 volts. Uh, it does not need a computer. You can power it with a power brick. I was actually gonna make a video with this but uh, my battery is low on this so um, this is it this is my opti loader this one's going to a friend and customer of mine to australia and uh, this is how it looks from the back i can unplug it of course I'm putting some silicone feed on here, so if you're using it on the table, it will not slide around. It also has a regular ISP header, so if you have a board that has an ISP header, like this one, for example, you can just connect it with a wire and upload it like that, so it does not have to be in an unsoldered version. And uh, this is it. It also has two inputs where you can connect it, uh, wire it up directly to 5 volts. And um, all you have to do is after you put the new one in, press reset and it will upload the bootloader. And this is it. And as you see, it's very small and you can use it for hundreds and thousands of uh, bootloaders. I have actually mine here underneath the table. This is what I'm using. Mine has those pins soldered to it because on some of my boards, like here for example, I have a pad that I created for Eagle and I can upload just... Um, I have actually also an adapter for with pogo pins and just put it on here and upload the, code, uh, the bootloader like that. Of course you can also upload the code like that but it will, it, once you upload your code with an ISP, it does erase the bootloader, so you have to burn a bootloader again if you want to use a regular USB serial connection. And this is it. I will put a link into the description. If you're interested, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And also, please do subscribe and like the video if you like it. And uh, what I have here on the table also is, this is my dB meter, this is my retro clock, well, I can show it up close, this is my dB meter, which also shows the reading in numbers, apart from the bar. And here is my retro clock that I finished for a customer in the UK. It will ship on Monday, I will make another video about this as well before i ship it out and this you might remember the old guys like me this is just of course nobody's gonna use that anymore uh, this is a resistor calculator the value calculator this code is not by me i did find it on the internet and i loved it so i put it on there this is my altimeter 
which shows the altimeter meters. You can also order it in Fahrenheit, um, in feet. <laughs> Fahrenheit, yes, that as well, because it shows the temperature as well. On the US, on the Imperial version, it shows Fahrenheit and feet. And this is just a picture viewer that I built. And with my keychain. And uh, yes, it does read the pictures from the SD card and displays it on the display. And I do have more videos coming up about my products. And um, you can, if you subscribe, you will be get notified. You will be get notified. You will get notified by them. Anyway, thanks for watching and take care, everybody.